So there is this mother who is juggling the unrelenting demands of caring for a six-year-old son who has autism and a brain injury. Every day is whirlwinding of therapy appointments, paperwork, and ever-growing pile of medical bills. She's been holding on to this hope that her insurance company, Beniva, will be able to lighten her load. I am Digital Stem Cell. I am doing unedited content here on YouTube because I don't have a production budget. And when I get that money up, we'll get up the uh, production. Um, but, uh, and hopefully you guys can watch all the way through. Don't just watch till like 30 seconds. Uh, it's not fair to us that put in the time. You can at least give me the time to watch the whole thing. Um, but today we're discussing um, in insurance companies not helping um, autistic parents, um, who are out like $30,000 worth of bills like, uh, Sophie, uh, Barrett here. Um, Sophie's journey began three years ago when she opted into Beniva insurance through her job, paying $6,000 a year in premiums. Her son's needs are complex, requiring speech and occupational therapy. The costs quickly added, uh, added up. Um, at first, she believed that the insurance would uh, be a lifeline, but soon herself battling the company was denied claims. Um, in 2021, after multiple denials and errors, she finally got some payments, but only um, after endless back and forth. You know, this is just straight up violence, y'all. You know, the way that they are treating these parents, um, it is, it, it, it is, it is uh, um, what we in the autism community are facing at every length. People do not want to pay. They do not want to support. They much rather us die um, than having to um, uh, support our our support needs. You know, so it's getting real loud in these streets, and we are probably going to have to start figuring out AI solutions and other technologies to kind of bridge that gap. You know, um, you know, I don't see psychologists being um, in the forefront in the future. I really think that a lot of things can be diagnosed with technology alone. Um, you know, you create these big gaps. You create these big gaps. You create innovation. Life as a caregiver is a constant balancing act when the systems meant to support you fail. It becomes a fight for survival. Uh, Sophie must now decide... How far she will go to get her son the help that she needs when dealing with her emotional and physical limits. She's experiencing some real um, uh, caregiver burnout. Um, in 2022, Sophie's mental state took a deep dive um, as the stress of caregiving and fighting for her son's therapist pushed her to the breaking point. Uh, exhausted, she had to take sick leave from work. Uh, uh, -E, uh, CHEO, the local um, children's hospital, stepped in writing a letter to Beniva requesting an extension for submitting for her 22, uh, or 2022 claims. She thought that she had a breakthrough when Beniva approved the extension over the phone until the next day uh, when they reversed the decision in email. Because you know, this is, like I said, this is violence. Um, confused and outraged, so, uh, Sophie begins... I had to do one cut, I'm sorry. Uh, confused and outraged, Sophie begins to question everything. How could they accept her into insurance program, collecting her payments, and then they deny her claims? She uh, Should she fight this battle, or is this uh, time to find another way to pay for her son's therapies? Her health is deteriorating, but her son's needs are greater than ever. Sophie decides to give that she can't give up. She submits her claims despite Beniva's refusal to um, uh, to assign her a dedicated representative. She's filing as many as 11 claims per week, and the amount denied now exceeds $30,000. But the fight is taking a toll on her well-being, and she knows that she's running out of time and energy. She better take. She better take these folks. She better take them to court. 
Um, meanwhile, Sophie's son can, um, continues to progress with therapies she has managed to keep up with. He's learning to communicate, develop motor skills, and making strides despite the financial uncertainty. Sophie draws strength from the small victories, reminding herself why she must keep going. Um, as far as the bureaucratic maze, uh, as far as the bureaucratic maze, it gets more complicated. Sophie turns to her friends and advocates, gathering documents, support letters, and legal advice. She spends hours on the phone, um, stuck in customer service loops, uh, submitting claims through Beneva's online portal, only to be blocked at every turn. And um, she feels that she's trapped in this absurd game uh, where the rules change daily. Trust me, when you're an autistic adult trying to get um, help and support, there, you, you just go in in loops. At this point, you just wither away in some corner. The pressure mounts. Um, the the pressure mounts. Uh, Sophie's own health is deteriorating, and um, she's been sick. She's been on sick leave for weeks. Her son's therapy appointments are in jeopardy as the bills continue to pile up. Beneath the uh, Beneva remains unyielding, refusing to admit fault and expedite her claims. Um, the denial letters and the financial strain is closing in and threatening to overwhelm her completely. Feeling utterly defeated, Sophie faces the heartbreaking reality that without a resolution from um, Beneva, uh, she may not be able to afford her th son's therapies any longer. For a mother who has uh, given everything to fight for her child, um, this feels like the lowest point. But Sophie isn't uh, ready to let that go the newfound determination she realizes that if she can't rely on the insurance company she'll have to make uh, take matters in her own hands uh, she starts exploring alternative um, options legal action public advocacy and community fundraising determined by fund uh, d determined to uh, raise a well awareness about her fight and to get her son the help that she needs Go funding is the best way to advocate for autism um, because even if you don't get donations, you at least get your story out there and get people to, um, you know, uh, recognize that this is not a joke. Uh, Sophie launches a campaign to bring um, attention to the challenges faced by families like hers. Uh, she garners the support of parents, local advocacy groups in, in the media. With her story gaining traction, pressure begins to build on Beneva to consider her their decisions. Um, though the outcome of Beneva is still uncertain, Sophie's resilience has become a beacon for hope for others. She's no longer fighting for her son's therapy. She's advocating for systemic change so that uh, no other family would go through the same ordeal. Uh, Sophie stands strong uh, with her resolve shaking unshaken uh ready for the next chapter uh for her to fight listen big up um big up to sophie for um standing up and fighting systemic change this is the type of action that we need i'm gonna reach out to her and see if i can get her on a podcast um it would be nice to chop it up with her to talk about some of the systemic issues that are happening all over when it comes to getting help and support for autism. Um, just, it, it, it's grueling that you pay all these insurance premiums and not be able to get paid um, when you need it, you know, not being able to get the support that you need. Meanwhile, you have, uh, you know, s someone with high support needs um, that needs your help every day and you just don't have the ability to just do it all on your own. This stuff is tough. Parenting is tough on its own, and um, I hope she gets the help and support that she needs. But um, what do you guys think in the in, in the comment sections? Did you make it this far? Did you make it this far? I'm going to start testing y'all. Did you make it this far? Because I know y'all ain't watching these videos. So I don't care about the editing anymore, and I'm not going to put a lot of effort into it. Because people say, oh, I'll follow your YouTube and then they don't watch the videos. And I don't really care. 
until I get a, a, a full on budget, then we'll start editing these videos the way that they should be edited. But for now, it remains the way it is. I don't care about the vanity metrics anymore. I talk to you guys later. Deuces.